There we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit. You can call me Hiccup. And guys, how's it going? <laughs> Today, I think I'm going to run around the mountain, and I want to collect some silver. I got to locate my wishbone. I know it's around here somewhere. Um, I've been shuffling inventories and running around doing just doing some casual grinding, and honestly, I've spent a lot of time in one of my creative worlds working on a crazy pyramid build that hopefully you guys will see in either the next video or the following video after that. I'm working on it. It's it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really excited to show it off. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah, today I thought I'd go around and we're going to collect some silver because I've had some amazing, awesome conversations with some of my viewers um, about my Boss Rush episode. And uh, hang on, I am a hurting for food here. Uh, <laughs> finally made some ice cream because definitely don't need so many of the portals around anymore. And... Uh, Oh, was that from breaking? Yeah, I, I had trouble hanging these guys for that thumbnail. Although it was pretty cool. I like that spot. Although, guys, I know where I'm going to hang them now. I'm getting all sorts of sidetracked. No, I had some conversations <laughs> with some of my viewers about the uh, the Yagla boss fight. And uh, I, I thought Frostner worked pretty good. But apparently everyone says the Silver Sword is the way to go with... Uh, is that a Drake? It is a Drake. Get away from my wolves. Blind shot. No. <laughs> um... Apparently, you know, Frostner worked pretty good, but apparently the uh, the Silver Sword really packs a wallop of spirit damage. If I'm remembering our conversation right, it's even going to do more spirit damage than my Great Battle Axe here. Uh, and I'm excited to see that and test that out, guys. If we're going to do that, though, what I really want to do is grab the padded gear, we're going to grab the shield and the Silver Sword, and we're going to go challenge Yagalooth with a max level Silver Sword with no rested bonus. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, also, guys, I, I've been thinking about where to hang. I kind of want to do, like, a tribute to all the bosses and hang their 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 uh, trophies around here somewhere. I was going to build something, but guys, look at this. I think hanging them around this rock, maybe swinging the path out a little wider and creating a little bit of a, a little bit of, like, a central boss totem area right here in the center, I think that'll be pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, where did I put my wishbone? There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and equip that. You can sense hidden objects. And guys, I'm just going to run around this mountain. We want to stay close to home. Oh, I am not. I remember that, though, but I'm not digging here. We're not digging around the house. I don't want to mess up the landscape. We're not doing that. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to keep the silver close to home. And guys, what I think we're going to do is I might try to seal some of this in a little bit. And we might turn our we might turn this down here into our smithery. Um, I need to start moving all of the stuff from the processing plant up here because I want this to be our end game finish base. This place needs all of the workbenches max level. And that's going to take a little bit of moving and shuffling stuff. Anyway, that's enough of us hanging out here. Let's start looking for silver. Anywhere over this hilltop. Ooh, already. All right, this might be a little close to home. I guess anywhere up here. There we go. I just want it out of sight of the wolf cabin, at least. Oh, my gosh. So the drake spawns have reduced. Um, covering that one egg has helped a lot. I don't know if there's another egg around here somewhere, but they still wander over from time to time. What you going to do? What you going to do? Here we go. This is looking promising. Oh, yep. We got a blip. Guys, why do I feel like the silver is buried in between these two stones? Ah, uh, I don't know about that dig site. Let's move on. Ooh, guys, ooh, health, what am I doing? Uh... Oh, I don't have my helmet on, first of all. Jeez. Oh, I'm feeling weak, actually. This is a. This is not a good meal to have out here on the mountain with this armor. Oof. Oh, guys, there it is right there. Perfect. Let's start mining. How much silver can we get? Ah, there's a golem in the distance. That I'm okay with. Okay, yeah, we can turn we can turn that off now. There we go. 
All right, let's start uncovering us some silver. I might have to deal with this golem here in just a second. Yes, I do. Oh, guys, we don't have a whole lot of health. Oh, thank you, Bone Mass, actually. That'll save our butts. We've got plenty of stamina for fighting, but the health is rather low. Woo, got to get them parries in. There we go. Let the stamina come back. Yeah, let him wander for a second. There we go. Come on. Nice. Hit me again. Is that a Drake? Oh, world save. Come on, don't do that to me. Ow. Hey, hit me again. Come here. Go away, Drake. Oh, and a wolf. Oh, my gosh, it's a regular mountain party. Yeah, come here. <laughs> Does that wolf not know what's going on? Ow, ow, will you stop? How is it that the uh, the Drake's actually managed to hit you while you're in combat? Cause I swear I can stand still half the time and they never hit me. Watch this one. Yep, completely. How did I miss? Come here. Oh, the snow is blinding up here, guys. It's such a bright day out. Okay, is the chaos over? Let's mine out some silver. Jeez wheeze. Oh man, a silver sword. You know, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to give up the battle axe. I love the battle axe. The flesh rippers have been pretty cool. I think I'm personally a bigger fan of the knife. The knives, I like the knives. I might make me a silver knife and a silver sword. That could be pretty fun. I really like the Fenris armor though. The Fenris armor and that move speed, absolutely undeniable. Absolutely. Do I have enough wood and stone for a little fire? Yes, we do. All right. I don't know why, but I always want a fire, <laughs> you know, out here working on the mountain. All right, guys, let me uncover this thing. I'll bring you back when we're ready to, to chop it down. And we'll see how much silver I can get and carry home. And then I actually have a good bit of uh, coal saved up already because I was going to start running around in the swamps near the house, uh, near our uh, new iron farm, and just get a bunch of iron for another build. Uh, but that's going to have to wait. And I may recruit some help for that. Anybody want to help out? <laughs> I don't promise. My internet's not the best. I will try to host a world for it. That could be really fun, though. Have an iron farming party at the Hermitage. If you guys are interested, let me know in the Discord. Yeah, it could actually be a lot of fun, guys. I may save I may save all that iron gathering until I can set something up with my with my Discordians. <laughs> all the digital wanderers from the Discord. Oh yeah, guys, start letting me know what times are good. Get in the Discord, do that. Let's let's do an iron farming party. Help pick up out. <laughs> Just don't rage quit after two minutes if the internet starts kicking you constantly. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I just want some silver. I just want some silver. Let's just get me some silver. <gasps> Is that another silver vein? What? <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be a good bit. All of this silver is going straight toward the silver sword. Uh, any leftover silver will probably be used to make a treasure chest. Uh... I don't think I've made one of those in a long time, actually. But yeah, we may throw a couple of those down if I have enough leftover silver. Maybe level up the, fre the Flesh Rippers. I don't know, though. Probably not. Probably going to try and, like I said, make a Silver Sword and the Silver Knife. I really like that. That's pretty cool. We'll have all the Silver Weapons. All the Spirit Damage. The silver knife, the silver sword, the battle axe, crystal battle axe. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, that's stone, but it looks like we found the other end of this silver vein. Oh, my gosh, guys. That's a that's a good little chunk right there. Ooh, not the best meal today. I was kind of taking it easy on the, on the good supplies. You know, I don't want to waste all of them, but I do have a good supply of serpent meat. I guess I should have made some serpent stew. Doing pretty good on the barley and the and the barley flour too. Uh, I don't know though. I, I want. I just wanted to make bread instead. You know. I well. I say I wanted to make bread. I haven't really played all that much since the last episode. Um. Just kind of got back on and 
made my meals there and then hopped around. Oh no, the pick broke. All right, well, I knew this was I knew this was coming. And actually, guys, let's swing by motor real quick and grab the uh, the portal from there. We don't really we don't really need that portal there. I might use that as a ah just a quick portal for silver grinding. Oh no, stamina! Oh come on, I thought I had a pretty heavily stamina focused meal today. Let's go. There we go. Motor portal should be right around here. So there it is. There we go. We'll just bring that with us. Look at all these drakes. Can we not? This is why I live on ice cream. Just to fight and anger you beasts. Wouldn't that be funny if that was a thing in the code? Like, if you're eating something made from the local wildlife, they actually get more aggressive toward you. You know, if you're eating wolf skewers and wolf meat, then the wolves get really mad and they start raiding you more often. That could be fun. I like that idea. What do you guys think? All right, anyway, it's dark out. Where's my fo I have a forge around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. It should be enough to, f well, probably not actually. Nope, all right, we gotta go down to the processing plant. Uh, guys, let me repair the pick, sleep through the night. I'll bring you back in the morning. Okay, which one of these is the motor portal? Motor two. We're gonna change this to silver with an exclamation point. <laughs> Don't let me forget that exclamation point. <laughs> Don't forget to remind me in 18 seconds when we get out there or whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, let me run back out to that silver vein and let's start bringing some silver home. All right, back at the silver vein. It was almost completely uncovered. I was almost comfortable. Yeah, I just need to lower this a little bit more. Maybe get rid of some of this stone right here on the side. That might prevent it. You really got to clean out around all the sides. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see if this thing will pop. Oh, yeah. Silver for me. <laughs> that is the way to do it. Love it. All right, let me... So much stone. Start picking everything up. Oh, no, I needed that for the portal. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and actually put that portal down real quick. Oh, we're going to need a crafting bench. Silver! All right, guys, let's pick up all the silver, and we can slow walk back through the portal. Oh, man. and then come right back out for another silver vein. We'll get all this smelting real quick. Hang on, let me gather all this and get it back through the portal. Ugh, so heavy. Oh, what am I saying? You can't go through the portal with silver. I'm silly. Hang on, the stone and everything else. That's what I want to bring through the portal. Then we'll start moving everything else real slowly. Have to make a few trips back. You stay right there, silver. We'll be right back for you. <laughs> I know some people have complained about my lack of organizing. I don't organize. I'm always too busy with projects and moving from one spot to the other or episodes, and, and I don't organize. These four chests right here are my clutter boxes, man. <laughs> there is so much random crap in all of those. You don't even know. You don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> funny stuff. Funny stuff. All right, let's get back out there. Need some more silver. Let's see if we can start running this home. Or, actually, guys, let's build a chest to keep it all in, and I'll come back for it on my own time. Eh. Or maybe at the end of the episode, we'll just make some runs real quick. Did that just say skeleton surprise? It did. Didn't this just happen? Like, guys, it really hasn't even been that much time between one episode and the next. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh, very nice. Let's bring all the skeletons over here. Hello, Mr. Golem. Yes, will you come and fight skeletons for me? Because, you know, I'm just tired of doing it myself. Let's bring all the skeletons over to him. There we go. Everybody group up. Skeletons versus Stone Golem. Oh, 
yeah, the skeletons and the drakes. This is great, actually, guys. I'm just gonna hang out, and we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let everybody here fight. Oh, look at the silver vein just jutting out the side of the mountain. I guess if we would have ran just a little bit further, we would have seen that. Hello, skeletons. I really don't want to fight you. I'm going to make the golem fight you. Wow. We'll take care of these ones back here. Where'd the wolves come from? All right, that's fine. If the wolves want to fight me out here, that's fine. Oh, I fell. <laughs> oh yeah, skeletons and drakes and wolves, oh my. Kaboom! <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Silly golem. All right, we don't have the bone mass backing us up, so I've really, oh! Really gotta time these uh, attacks here. Oh, get him, wolf. No, turn around and fight the golem. Or not. <laughs> All right, golem, me and you. Let's finish this fight up. Come on. Where are you going? Gotcha. I think that rancid remains just jumped in and stole my kill. <laughs> ah, like this is some MOBA or something. He stole my kill. That tank stole my kill. I'm the carry. Anyways, all right, that's rude. I won't be rude. Moving on. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe this one's like already partially uncovered. That makes my life so much easier. Let's see how much silver we can get from these two veins, guys. That's that's pretty awesome. Let me chop this one out and we'll pop it the same way. I'll bring you guys back in just a minute. Or a few minutes, you know, however long it takes. <laughs> Good. Guys, did you see that? <laughs> oh, man, we are pros at jumping on drakes. Yeah. I'm going to try that again, actually. <laughs> Let's see if we can surf on a drake. Ready? Oh. Oh, it kind of did it. Almost. Almost. It almost had him. Okay, we're going to need stamina. Got to get stamina. Little lower, right at a hill. Oh, we jumped right into his, yeah, right into his attack. That's what got us there. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. <gasps> yeah, I did that. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop. I'm gonna get myself killed. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves killed doing this silly shenanigans. <laughs> Get out of here, Drake. Gosh. Ooh, seriously, though. Drake spawn way too often. Uh oh, guys. It's not letting me dig down anymore. That is the limits of how low we can dig right there. That's kind of a problem. All right. Here's hoping that's enough out of it to... Uh, Actually, let us chop it. Let me continue going out underneath it this way. Okay, here's hoping we've cleared out enough of it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Let's get us some more silver. Kaboom! Come on! Oh, no? Is it this rock? There it goes, it was, it was that rock. I don't know what made that rock slide down like that after that little battle with the Drake though. That was really weird. All right, let me carry it. Let me pick up everything, see how much we've got. Oh, of course, another Drake would show up just now. Of course. There we go, barely made it up here. Ooh, guys, that is a lot of silver. hi -ya! Oh, come on. Yeah, gotcha. And... Nope. He ducked it just underneath that one. Another golem. Oh, my gosh. We need to turn the spawn rates down. I just killed all of you. We just had a skeleton surprise. I've killed so many drakes up here. Spawn rates are getting wild, man. 
absolutely wild. Um, all right, how much silver did we get, guys? 164. Oh my goodness, that is not bad. Can't carry a stack of is it potions. Potions are pretty heavy. What else is pretty heavy? What are, what am I carrying that's so heavy? All right, 26 it is. I'm gonna leave some tools at home though. Hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can cut that weight down and actually get a full stack of 30. Barely missed that. All right, let's make a few trips back and forth between home. Let's get all this silver back. That's a good bit of silver, actually. Like, a really good bit of silver. Feeling pretty good about it. Hmm. This is giving me, giving me an idea, guys. What if we put spike walls? What if we went and got some logs, you know, and put some spike walls all the way around this thing? Would, uh, would the drakes bump into the spike walls and hurt themselves? Trying to surround the golem like that? That's interesting. That's interesting. We may have to try this. Sink it, stinking bones. I don't need any bones. All right, let me go sleep. I'm going to make a few more runs uh, in the morning. Get all that silver out here and get it burning and smelt. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I could start smelting right now. Wow, that is a heavy snowstorm. Yeah, time to go to bed. Let me get the uh, coal going. Get this burning over the evening. Ah, it's been a while since I've worked in a forge. Nice. I'm also going to go and leave some of this stuff in the base here. Oh, hey, the storm is finally letting up. Is this pretty empty? No, none of these are empty, man. There we go. I made some space. All right, so let's go ahead and have a meal. Yeah, we're okay. We can't. So all of this actually weighs a good bit. Three pounds. There's four pounds. Guys, I was looking at some of my weapons and stuff, and, like, some of these corrupt, crafted by names are absolutely weird. Um, I definitely have made that Draugr Fang and that uh, Crystal Battle Act. Like, I've made all these tools. I wonder if that's from, like, logging in. Yeah, because I haven't played Modheim. I wonder if that's from, like, accidentally logging in. Because every once in a while, this character would get loaded into Modheim back when we were playing Modheim. If I wasn't careful, I would accidentally pull up Modheim <laughs> instead of the normal Valheim. I wonder if that did it. I was trying to reduce my weight even more by leaving some of the heavier weapons behind, and I noticed that, yeah, some of the names were crafted by... Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, I definitely made those. I definitely made those. Makes me want to, like, spawn one in to see if it would say that. Would it say that? I don't know. I don't know. No, we're not going to spawn. We don't spawn things in. We don't do that. Nah, I'm not going to spawn it in. I don't know. That's weird, though. That makes me that makes me feel weird, because I definitely made those. Like, that Draugr Fang and that Battle Axe have been with me forever. Oh, why am I running, guys? There's definitely a silver portal out here. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, and I should have eaten something before we left. Now I'm running low on food. What? I still can't carry a full stack of 30? I don't know, guys. Silver apparently just weighs that much. I don't know what else to drop other than, like, all of my weapons, which I, I guess I could do, but I really don't want to. There we go. 28. I got it down. We can carry 28 at a time. That should be good. Let's get it moving. Oh, my gosh. That... I don't know, guys. I might come back and do that <laughs> in my off time. Uh, and in between episodes, too, I was going to take some time and go farm up some stone and some iron. Or not iron, uh, some stone and some wood. And, you know, just get the casual grind out. Why do I have bones? I don't want bones in there. We'll just make a pile of bones over here. Whatever. I don't want I don't want your bones. Skeletons. Six skeletons. Look at that silver. Awesome. We're going to have silver in no time. Oh my gosh, yeah, and we have so much silver, too. I mean, it's ridiculous. Just from two veins, and there's got to be more up here. Oh my gosh, though, we are going through the coal already. I'm going to have to start. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. All right, well, rather than just continuously make trips to the to the wolf to the uh not the wolves wolves are down there to the uh, to the silver out there i'm gonna go to the wolf cabin real quick uh not the wolf cabin. we're at the wolf cabin oh my gosh we have too many bases we're gonna go to the boar farm real quick uh but first i'm gonna stop by the processing plant and grab some carrots 
Oh, do I have any? Okay. I need to actually plant more carrots, it looks like. I think I might be running low. I keep coming out here and grabbing, you know, 9 or 12 or whatever I, I want for feeding the boar. I need to replant them pretty soon. How are the boar doing? Hey! No, sir! Get out of here. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. All right, let me split up some of the carrots. This is how I always do it, guys. It does it matter? Like, can you toss out a full stack, or will they eat like the whole stack at once? Or I'm only tossing carrots in this corner because they seem to stay over here. Like the few times that I have actually hung out and babysat them and fed them, they really don't go anywhere else in this corral here. There. Everybody loves everybody. Look, I just need you guys to breed up so I can start chopping you for resources. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need to clean this place up. Gosh, guys, there's a lot of, like, really dry stuff for me to do around here. Not that it's, like, you know, it's just dry for the episode. We all love Valheim for this casual grind. That's what we play these games for. Love the actual just kind of, like, effort that you put into cleaning up a space, harvesting resources. It all feels good. I need to come back here and clean out all these stumps, which will give me a little bit of wood. But mostly I just want to get rid of the stumps so I can replant all the trees again. So that'll be super handy. All right, well, I don't want to stay out here and do this too long. Yeah, all the things I've got in mind to do right now are kind of, uh, kind of on the side. Kind of, kind of grindy. I just need, I need, I need supplies, <laughs> you know? So guys, like I said, I think I want to get that silver sword and that silver dagger, and we'll go and we'll challenge Yagluth with that arrested bonus. That'll be pretty cool. I also want to keep building around the base and finishing up all the finishing touches at the, uh, the wolf cabin which means we'll need some iron, we'll need some copper, we'll need some bronze. So uh, other than the silver, I think once we get the silver sword and the silver dagger, we should set out and try to start collecting um, copper and bronze and tin and all the stuff that we'll need to build all of the um, the workbenches. I know we could just go to... Uh... Oh, it's down here. Yeah. And it's kind of a long way. I kind of want to leave the processing plant set up the way it is. I'd, I'd really like to just, you know, that's part of the fun is gathering the resources. So I think we're going to try and around here, um, there are some black forests around here uh, that we should be able to find some copper and tin and hopefully, like, you know, trek them all the way home. But, yeah, I'm hoping to get all of the, the benches set up uh, at the base. And like I said, I think I said this in the last episode, if you guys have any ideas for any structures or cool little outbuildings or cool little builds that I should do around the wolf cabin, leave that in the comments below because I'm really trying to build that place up before we end this season. But guys, I do think I'm going to let that wrap up the episode right there. It might be a short one, but uh, yeah, all the stuff I've got in mind to do kind of is a little grindy. I want to go and get some wood, get the coal going, uh, get the get the silver smelted, um, and I think in the next episode... Uh, actually, in the next episode or two, you guys might be uh, seeing some builds of mine. I've been working on some builds in creative mode, and I'm really hoping to be able to share them. So possibly that might be happening next. But the next time you join me for my Let's Play, let's go with that. The next time you join me for the Let's, for the let's Play, uh, Valheim, we're going to be running around trying to gather all the stuff we need to make all the workbenches up there at the Wolf Cabin max level. Because I think that'll be the crowning achievement of this playthrough, guys. We'll finish up the wolf cabin and all of the surrounding area around the wolf cabin really make that an end game base worthy of the hermitage title. But anyway, everybody, if you had fun hanging out with me today, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Valheim. I just told you what we'll be getting into, so I won't repeat myself. But yeah, again, guys, just, you know, leave me some tips or some ideas in the comments. Love sharing ideas and I love chatting with you guys. So by all means, tell me what you want to see. And if you guys are curious about the, the creative builds coming up, I just want to tease you a little bit. Uh, one of them is kind of a pyramid. I think I, I think I spoiled that for myself in the last episode where we were building that, that roof around the, the golem. I talked about it. But uh, yeah, and the other one is uh, a fort in the meadows. And hopefully it'll look pretty cool. I won't say anything more. But hey, everybody, I hope you're having a great day. 
Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out.